And before you take off, I see someone there gonna hit the, the escape button. Don't touch it. This is not a dud. I'm not trying to sell you anything, okay? I'm not here to offer you 12 CDs for a penny, okay? This is going to change your lifestyle. It's gonna change your life. You're gonna love it. I hear some of you guys back there saying, Oh, he eats bacon to, uh, twice a week. That's, that's so healthy. You know what? How many beers did you pound last week? How many Red Bull or vodka did you have last weekend? I guess that's an introduction to paleo. I don't know what else I could say. And before I continue with other videos, um, I'm going to kind of put the brake on some things and kind of take a step back. I'm still getting a lot of questions on uh, just the basic things about paleo and just what's paleo? Uh, people have been saying, sure Steve, you're showing us how to cook 68 pieces of chicken breast and 20, 24 pieces of steak, but um, what's paleo? Why are you doing this? To start all over, my apologies, I, I had an intro video, but uh, not really like the intro to paleo, you know. Paleo. Paleo is meat. You got your meats, you got your animals, you got your vegetables, your fruits, your plants, and your water. You okay? Yeah. So how I like to judge the paleo diet and how and what not to eat um, is, is, for me it's pretty simple. I think of the little caveman, the little hairy guys in the cave, and um, what do they eat, right? Like if I'm at a restaurant and I see in the menu um, shrimp, a breaded shrimp, for instance, I think of like, would cavemen have, you know, the ability to bread their shrimp around the campfire? Or like, I don't know, not a campfire, it's not a camping, that's the way they live. Would they have the ability to have breaded shrimp? Probably not, right? So, an all-you-can-eat diet, all-you-can-eat meat, all-you-can-eat bacon, steak, pork, it doesn't matter, like, as much as you want, because what? Paleo is the no sugar diet pretty much, right? Yeah, you got your natural sugars and your almonds and your fruits and vegetables, but there's no like added sugars in, in, in the dairy and in the wheat. And that's a good segue from that. Paleo is strictly no grains, no wheats, no breads, no dairies, um, so anything like that, right? No milks, no yogurts, no cheese. No muffins, no cupcakes, no breads, no cereals. So, which is which is great, right? That's all the man-made junk that um, we're trying to get away from. It's an all-you-can-eat diet. I'm never hungry. When I'm hungry, if I come downstairs at two in the morning, I'll eat bacon. I'll eat I'll eat steak. And some of you guys will be like, "Come on, Steve, you're in the, who's going to be in the barbecue or on the frying pan at two in the morning?" And that's a whole another segment I did for you guys on how to meal plan. So, when you come downstairs, open up the fridge, your fridge will be stocked full of your meats and uh, your pre- and your pre-cut and washed vegetables already. So, meats, plants, vegetables, fruits, animals, water. And another segue, water, okay? Not only does paleo make you drink so much water, which is amazing for your body, because your body's already washed 90% water, right? You drink more water, it's going to, what's water, what does water do? It's a dilutant, okay? So everything from, it's great for your kidneys, okay? Because you're always peeing. It's good for your breath, okay? It's going to clean the back of your tongue, which has where the bad breath comes from, right? It's going to clean your teeth. I'm not saying you still got to brush your teeth, yo. Come on now. Water, it's going to be amazing for your skin. No more acne. Amazing. Hey, sit down. It's going to be amazing for your hair. The shiny hair is going to come back. I suggest you guys go to try paleo. Instead of doing going in feet first, hardcore, just pure paleo, I suggest either um, cut out dairy or, or wheat. Pick one of the two and totally just neglect it out of, out of your diet, okay? Nothing. Try it for a week. Try it for a month. For myself, I stopped the dairy first. And after about um, a good, it took me, I'm not going to lie, it was hard. Um, it's your body going through withdrawals from the sugar, right? And it took me probably a, a good two to three months before I was totally paleo. And 
even now, if you look at my, if you look back at my videos, I'm still doing some of the uh, the gluten free, no sugar kind of breads, or sorry, the, the tortillas and whatnot, and uh, the chocolate. You may have seen that video, the 90, 99% cacao. You guys are asking, oh, what can you have then for like dessert? There's no desserts here. You guys, we gotta start eating uh, to live and not for pleasure, okay? At the same time, you're not gonna need dessert because you're, you're gonna be so full from steak and bacon, right? Just imagine watching a movie downstairs with the family. Instead of a bowl full of popcorn, have a bowl full of raspberries and blueberries and, and grapes. Like, oh, it's so good. And kiwi and bananas. Oh, I'm in love with that kind of stuff. Oh, look at my mustache! Look at my mustache! Ah, that stinks! So I've been doing paleo for about a year and a half. I've lost a little over 40 pounds. We're looking around 42-ish, 40. And right now I'm, I'm fluctuating so much with my Ironman and marathon training. But um, my first month of paleo, I lost almost 20 pounds. And it was it just it just shed off me. I, I couldn't believe how fast it works, right? Because you're not taking in sugar. Sugar is the only thing. Again, you'll hear it from me. I'll always say this for the next 20 years in all my videos. I'm still doing this when I'm like what, what, 40. No, nope, 50. Wow, dirty 30s. Drink a little tip if you know you got the munchies and it's like nine o'clock in the evening or something. Chug water, okay? I'm serious. This is gonna trick your brain. It, your body's bored. Your stomach is bored, okay? Don't listen to it. It's it's just it's not hungry. Chug water. We can do orange juice. That's like hand squeezed. Why not? It's amazing. We'll do uh, all the any juices you can juice, right? I live by the blender, so whatever you can put in the blender, drink. Let's do it. Espresso. I love this diet because my drink of choice, my drugs of choice, is is red wine for alcohol and is um, espresso for caffeine. I'm not gonna ask questions. You guys can be all like, "Well, the caveman didn't have uh, you know a vineyard and um, a Starbucks down the road." Um, no, but I'm not gonna ask questions. All my my retort is gonna be, "It's a pure coffee bean with water." There's my espresso. And I guess for the red wine, they're allowing it because it's red grape and like, I don't know, copper wire, however they make booze. And again, cavemen didn't have, you know, the almond butter, the almond milk. But I think, you know, um, we, uh, we evolved as a man. And uh, instead of walking on our, on our, on our knuckles, we've uh, went a little upright. At the same time, our brains function a little bit better. And we've... Uh, come to the conclusion that almonds can be made in, it's not a milk, mind you. Almond carton has nowhere it advertises milk. It's the almond drink. Oh, and sauces. So when we're cooking our meats, our pork, our chicken, our steaks, no HP steak sauce, guys. No ketchup, ladies, for the potatoes. No butters. No soya sauce. No sweet and sour for the chicken breast. That would have broke. What else can I talk about here? There's tons of different kinds of like paleo whatever. Okay, people make like, oh, paleo brownies, paleo beef, like, or paleo ice cream, paleo pizza. I don't get into all that. I don't like cooking the way it is. I hate cooking. So this hits right home for me. It's meat on the barbecue, and it's raw vegetables, well steamed vegetables if you want, but it's raw vegetables and fruits. Um, you can buy the books on paleo. Sure. You guys can have the, the goat's milk brownies, you know what? My paleo, I'll just eat the goat, okay? <laughs> Hopefully this answers some questions that I may have, uh, or obviously I did skip over. So any thoughts, comments, questions, remarks, leave them below. Peace!